When you arrive at the Learning Green area of our site, you can learn everything you want to know about the initiative, whether you're a student, a professor, a learning institution, or a corporation. Let's say you want to learn a little more detail about the program. Just go over here and click on About Learning Green. Here you can read all about the program in detail. Left navigation will also take you to other areas of the site you might find interesting. They'll tell you what else we're up to. A little bit about us, our research, areas of collaboration, our partners, and news and information. But let's say you just want to take a course. Then you click on the Learning Green tab, come here, and over in the left navigation, you click on Take a Course. This brings you to the overall course directory page, which lists all the courses that we offer. It also provides some insights into how the courses work. Let's say you want to take the Introduction to Green Chemistry course. Click here and arrive at the first page of the Introduction to Green Chemistry. This is where you get a course summary, some instructions about how to move forward, and a list of the lessons that we have available. There's about 25 lessons for every course and about four or five modules within each lesson. For this tutorial, I'm going to take lesson one. That brings me to the first page in the interactive lesson book, The Essentials of Green Chemistry. So here I get a summary, some instructions about how to move forward, and the key points for this particular lesson. It's easy to move forward and begin the course. I just turn the page here and it takes me to module one. Changing course. Now modules give me lots of different ways to explore the information. First of all, there's the body copy for that particular module that explains what it's all about. Down here you have key points that provide a quick overview of the salient themes in that module. And then up here, every module is anchored by a short video lecture, somewhere between five and ten minutes long. And then finally, across the bottom there's a toolbar that enables you to navigate and interact with additional information that's important to the course. After you've watched the lecture, you can explore your assignments, related news and articles, there are interactive exercises and games, ways to get answers to your questions, a summary and review that will help me when I take the quiz to pass the quiz. If you pass the quiz then you get to move on to the next module. We'll talk about these tools as well as how we handle video lectures in future tutorials.